Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about installing Ubuntu server on a QNAP virtualization station, and I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist where you can find that video. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. In this video, I'm going to talk about using snapshots in virtualization station. So I'm in virtualization station. I have the Ubuntu server selected under the VM list. I'll click on snapshot tab. So I'll click take snapshot. I'll type initial install. There's an option here for reserve this snapshot. I'll click on the little eye. It says once the maximum number of snapshots, 32, is reached, the oldest non-reserved snapshot will be deleted. So I'll keep this selected for now. I'll click OK. And it's creating a snapshot. OK, so we see the initial install here. Now I'll switch to my terminal. And I'll install some software. OK, so I'm installing the Nginx web server. OK, I'll clear my screen. I'll type sudo space nginx space dash t. It says the configuration file is OK. So we know it's installed. Now I'll go back to the QNAP interface. I'm back at my listing of snapshots. I'll click on this little revert icon. And it says reverting removes all USB and GPU connections. Do you want to continue reverting to initial install? And then it has a checkbox here for synchronize the time of the host. So I'll click OK. And you can see it's reverting over here. My terminal has locked up because it's restarted the VM. I'll open up a new terminal. Okay, so now if I type sudo space nginx space dash t, it says nginx is not found because we rolled back to the point before we installed nginx. So snapshots are very handy if you want to capture a moment of time on the virtual machine. So like before and after you do an install of something. So then if you have some kind of problem, you can roll back to where you were before. So if something gets screwed up during an install, you can just roll back to before you started the install as opposed to having to, like, say, rebuild the whole server from scratch and then copy all the data over or whatever. So it's a very handy feature. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.